Greetings everyone, Free here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. Welcome to our demo for today. In today's demo, we're going to take a look at Sigma Computing. Sigma is a tool within the modern data space that provides an Excel type experience for analyzing, for slicing and exploring data within your modern data warehouse like Snowflake. We're going to jump in today. We're going to take a look at what Sigma does. We're going to look at the UI and orient yourself around the capability with that. But once you come into Sigma and log in, we're going to be working with a screen that looks like this on the Sigma UI. We're going to do some work in here, but again, all of the work we do on Sigma is going to be taking advantage and running on Snowflake, but still maintaining that Excel experience you might be uh, used to working with uh, Microsoft Excel. Once we log in into Sigma, we're working with a screen that looks like this. To the left is our navigation options and to the right is the canvas so work is being done. A couple of things to call out here is the home. There are templates you can uh, look at to take advantage of, manage your documents, organize things into works as well. Below is a connection we have pointing to uh, the Snowflake uh, environment with sample data. We're going to jump in, we're going to create a, a connections or we'll see how to create connections to begin working with Sigma. Now, once you come into Sigma, there are really two things to be very aware of. First is the concept of the workbooks. So workbooks gives you that ability to explore, to analyze, and to visualize your data. So thinking about a report from the legacy world, that would be analogous to what we see here as workbooks, but workbooks are a little bit more dynamic in this case. Next is uh, the data sets. So data sets are essentially the data you're going to be working with, and these are the building blocks from which uh, you get to do your exploration or create workbooks. In here, from a data set perspective, uh, you can create a data set from a table, which will come from a connection. Uh, you can create data sets by using existing uh, data sets. Uh, you can write custom SQL or just upload a CSV file as a starting point for creating your data set. Because I have a connection already, if I was to click on that, you can see my uh, connection to my database and I can pull the different objects within that schema in the database as data to use from within Sigma. Let's go ahead and close this and see how to create a new connection if you don't have one. So here you're going to come in, go to your profile and you're going to add connection. So here you can add the connection to Snowflake, which is what we care about. From here, you, you're going to put in your Snowflake account, your warehouse and all the details needed to authenticate into uh, Snowflake. Now let's cancel that since we have an existing connection already to use and we're going to go ahead and go back. The next piece, once you have your connection, you've created your data set is the concept of the workbook. So here we're going to come in and create some workbooks for visualization. For this, we can select tables and data sets. This will build on the data sets we created previously. So here, let's go ahead and leverage in the sample data set. We're going to use the retail source. Uh, and this gives us the data set uh, for us to use. All right, this is where Sigma really begins to shine. If you notice, we have rows and columns. Well, what does this remind us of? Anyone familiar with spreadsheets in, in Excel would be very familiar with this interface, which is really what uh, Sigma is building on. But the difference is with spreadsheets, you're, you're bound to the amount of space you have on your machines and spreadsheets uh, with Excel in particular, uh, have a limitation in terms of the amount of data you can work with. I think it's about a million or so records, but in many cases, you might have data in the millions and in the billions, and the spreadsheet will simply fall flat in its face. With Sigma, because this is running right on top of our connection and pushing all of this work into the database, you get a lot more flexibility. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, we do have our rows here. We see the store data. We have a store ID department, date, and some sales are uh, happening. The very first thing we, we can do here is format the date because we're going to want to look at the date, not just by this level of granularity. Let's look at it by uh, year and maybe month. So go ahead and duplicate this column. Once we have that duplicated, we're going to go back in. We're going to truncate this date to keep just the year period. So uh, that way we can see the sales by year. And this is something you can do with Sigma. Again, the Excel type experience. Uh, but with tremendous skill. Again, let's go in and duplicate another column. For this, we're going to want to truncate so we can see it by month. Last but not least, we're going to add the next column here. And for this, we're going to want to look at this by, by quarter. 
Now we have our date split out with the year and the month, the quarter and the date detail. Really good. Now let's go ahead and do some more formulas into this. If you're familiar with Excel, you know Excel is very, very exciting because of the formulas. And so having that type of experience within Sigma is key as well. For the sake of the demo, we're going to split that column into two. Let's go ahead and essentially divide our sales by two. Now we have a field with our sales divided by two. Now, this is just for the sake of the demo. You can put in some more complex uh, calculations in here to reflect your particular uh, data set or business use cases. But all of this is something you can do within Sigma. And on the left side, we can see our columns. If you wanted to add groupings, we can certainly go in and add groupings. There is a ton of functionality that's available. Now, with our data set looking good, go ahead and save that. This workbook has been saved with rows and columns, but perhaps we want this visible to our users, not in rows and columns, but we want the results a little bit more aggregated. So here we can create visualizations to go with the detailed data we have. Let's create a pivot table, something people working with Excel would be tremendously familiar with. With pivot tables, you can put in your pivot row. We're going to do year and the pivot columns. We want to pivot by, let's say, a quarter. And the values we want would be our weekly sales. And so just like that, we've done some pivoting here showing a year. And within the year for every quarter in there, we see our sales. That's something that with Excel, folks would love doing. Give it this a name, sales uh, pivot. All of this is being pushed down into the database. There is no laptop limitations. The 1 million row record is you're not being limited by that because all of this is going down into the Snowflake instance where this data resides. And you can verify that by coming up here and looking at query history. You can see the query is just running because I did a refresh. For each of those pivots, you can see the query being sent down into our database, which is Snowflake. For me, I'm comfortable with SQL, but not everybody out there wants to write SQL like this. But still, you want to take advantage of data in Snowflake without having to move that data out into Excel and lose the governance and the security that comes with uh, doing something like that. So Sigma giving this flexibility to still have an Excel type experience, but pushing this data down into Snowflake and having the computation happens there in a governance secure environment is really crucial. Let's go ahead and close that. We have a pivot table here, it's good. If you want to drill down, uh, Sigma also gives a capability to do that. So let's say the 2012 record is in trend. Maybe the sales are not looking uh, right. We can come in here, right click on that, do a drill down. And there is options to drill down by any attribute. Maybe you want to drill down by department. In this case, you can go in and you can drill down by the specific department for that here to see all the data. Not only can you see your pivoted data, if you want to go into the details and really ask and answer questions of why is a particular department not being responsive or the sales on that department not trending the way it should be, you can certainly go in and do all of that with Sigma. Now, having pivot tables are great, but executives sometimes would prefer more visual type experience. Again, here we can come in, we can add a visualization. In this case, we're going to do a, a bar chart, very popular for folks who are non-technical. Take our x-axis and make that quarter date. And for the value, do our weekly sales. So we're going to essentially see our weekly sales by quarter. And just like that, we have uh, the quick visualization. Uh, for a quick reminder, if we go back in all of these queries, as we're doing and slicing and dicing and exploring and visualizing all these data sets, we're setting that all back into a data warehouse. There is no limitation. You have essentially no limits. If you can fire those queries off to Snowflake, which is extremely capable, then you can have that visualization right at your fingertips. Uh, if you want to sort things or move things around and make this chart look uh, really good, you can certainly do that. I do like adding some elements within my dashboard. So let's go ahead and add a good title. Let's call this sales dashboard, adjust things, move them up to the screen. I can add an image just to give a sense of what it is we're looking at. So browsing to my desktop, my image is getting uploaded. This is not really the, the most beautiful image I could find, but you get the concept. We have a dashboard with a title, a header, an image to explain what it is we're doing. We have our details. If we want to put the details below because people would want to see the details after seeing the summary, go ahead and move that. We see our pivot. 
we're seeing our sales not trending in a good direction. I would prefer sales going up, not going down, but that's what the data is telling us. This is what Sigma is presenting to us. Again, this Excel type experience is what we're seeing here with Sigma. You can build this and the unique thing about Sigma is all of these queries are getting pushed down into your data warehouse, into the underlying data platform in this case, which is uh, Snowflake. One thing to call out here is the concept of format. If we want, we can go ahead and format uh, this dashboard, give it the background, change it to a green, and you have a little bit of uh, formatting there. If we want the title, uh, we can show title or hide the title. Uh, all good, again, depending on your preferences. Let's go back to our pivot table. We can do conditional formatting on our pivot table and the results will get formatted based on that. Now the details here are being formatted. Uh, you can highlight uh, certain things you want to draw attention to, uh, which is something that folks looking at a lot of data will care about. So there you have it. I know it's a lot in this demo, but hopefully this uh, quick overview of Sigma computing as a tool within the modern uh, data ecosystem has been relevant to you and orient you around the capabilities. Just to summarize, teams that are looking to do analysis, there is this old saying that if you give an analyst uh, data set, the very first thing they do with it is uh, bring it into Excel. What that means is organizations have invested in modern data warehouses, but still are having to maintain all this Excel proliferation because folks are just used to that. What Sigma is really doing is going back to the drawing board, giving that Excel type experience, but to users on top of their data warehouse so everything can be secured, everything can be governed. Uh, you can create your connection to Snowflake, come in like what we've seen, create data sets. And from within, from within the data sets, you can go in and build a workbooks or write queries or upload your own CSV data to explore. So there you have it, Sigma computing, uh, a BI tool for the modern data space. Uh, hopefully this uh, demo was relevant to you as always. Links to all of this will be in the description below. If you have any questions, reach out to the Sigma team. I'm sure they can go in deeper than we've done here today. Uh, but for us, if you have any topics or questions or comments you want us to talk about, things you want us to demo or take a look at, people you want us to interview, don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section below and I'll see what we can do. Again, thanks for watching. You have been very awesome. I have been through. I'll see you in our next demo.